I want to put you in the right mood for it. I feel like you're a bit. I'm, I'm a bit. Up. I'm a bit agitated that's today, okay. but that's okay. The bell, the bell strength. So, me. Magpie of Coburg North has sent this through. Mm. Something very odd happened as I was leaving a nail salon on Bridge Road yesterday afternoon. I took out my phone to take a photo of my beautiful new nails and noticed that my Hey Google thingy had been on the whole time I was in the salon and listening to the nail artist's conversation they were having in Korean. Naturally, I hit translate button and was very surprised to read the Google translation. They were saying over and over again, Tom Green to Richmond, Tom Green to Richmond, Tom Green to Richmond. <laughs> well, we might as well throw him in because half the GWS Giants list is going to Richmond, Jared, it would appear. What? What an extraordinary recruiting flex. That's what the kids use these days. Flex that was from the Tigers yesterday. That meeting with the contractor giant, Jacob Hopper. That, Damien Hardwick confirmed with you on AFL 360 last night, took place. Now, we've already got Tim Taranto on the hook down there on a very good deal, we might add, and a long-term one. Jacob Hopper as well? So we, we're not privy to the books. We don't know what the bottom line looks like. Clearly, they can do it financially. But how do they do it in the trade sense? Because we've got those figures in front of us. They've got their first round pick, obviously, pick 12 as it stands at the moment. They've got two second rounders, their own, but one tied to North Melbourne, which is handy, which that sits at 19 at the moment. So 12, 19, I think there's a 30, and then you go all the way back. So how do they do it from a trade point of view? Taranto's not contracted, but Jacob Hopper clearly is. He's also been courted by Geelong and clearly just wants to come home. He's just got to settle on his destination. So what sort of trade for those two prime midfielders would possibly satisfy the Giants. So that's got the whole industry at the moment scratching their head saying, how could they possibly do this? Do, does, does, is there a view that they could land both? I think the competition, the people that I've spoken to at other clubs, and this is list managers, it's player managers this morning as well, are genuinely bewildered as to how it would possibly happen. Does another club have to get involved? Are there future picks involved? GWS, we know, need to ease the squeeze but they're not going to be railroaded into giving up quality players for nothing. Surely players of that that calibre. And does Geelong still have a role to play in Hopper, given we know how far down the, the Hopper path the Cats have gone? They wanted their own double act. They want Hopper and Grundy to come in. So uh, it's, a, it's a good choice to have, though, for Jacob Hopper, isn't it? Am I going to Richmond or am I going to Geelong? Both want me. I want to come home. Great, great to have options, Jared, as they say. We're in the trade bell with Sam Edmund for Effective Freight Solutions. Get started with us today. Who are we waiting on? Yeah, the waiting game is interesting, and there's no more torturous waiting game than that owned by Western, lived by Western Bulldog supporters at the moment because Josh Dunkley still hasn't told the dogs of his intentions. 